Good evening to all. My name is Bong Dijet and I'm coming from India, Kerala. Today I would like to talk about map. What is a map? A map is representing the earth surface. The difference between the map and the earth is the map is flat and the earth is round. A map only shows a small, uh, small area and few facts, right? A book of map means there are so much maps in one book. That is called an atlas. You need to see atlas then here. This is an atlas. Okay? This is my atlas. There are three types of map. There are physical and political and dramatic map. Okay, we can first look at the physical map. This map shows natural feature of the acts such as a mountain, plateau, plain, rivers, ocean and etc. They are called the physical map. You do not understand means this map will it will convey uh, big things like mountains, plateau, uh, plain and oceans and sea like that. Uh, if you want to see the uh, picture, then here. This. This is a political, uh, no, physical map. It has oceans and so much country, continent, all it has. Okay? Now we can just look at the political map. This map shows cities, villages and different countries and states on the world. Their boundaries are political maps. If you need to see a political map, means I am showing here. This. This is a political map. Okay? This has uh, cities, it has cities here, all cities are there, and state and countries and many and uh, villages and towns and many other things. That is a political map. Okay, we can go to the domestic map. Some maps focus on specific specific information such as road maps and rainfalls. Map. Rainfalls maps. Rain map showing forest industries are known as domestic map. <coughs> this is a small kind of map. It has only small. I will show you as a photo. Here. This is a domestic map. Okay? okay. Now you all understand the three types of map. They are the physical map, politic, and the domestic maps. Okay, now we can go to the distance. Maps are very small, right? And the air surface is very big. Well, how we can identify the distance in the map? How? This effect we can see through scale. Scales would be here. In all the map scale would be there. Here. In this map there is a scale. Here. Look. Scale. Z, uh, 1 centimeter. 160 kilometer. Like that. All of these have a map. Scale. Okay. Scales in the Con like continent or countries or are be shown on the paper then we use small scale for example we are using 5 centimeter for 500 kilometers of the ground it is called the small map okay it's some um, in some maps uh, big continent all map it have only small scale with a uh, little small uh, one centimeter would be so much that is the 
that is a small max, small scale. Okay. Now we can go to the large scale. What is the large scale? Then a small area like your village or town is to be shown in the paper. Then we use a large scale that 5 centimeter on the map is 500 meter only on the ground. It is called a large scale. For example, this one. Look, it is uh, 50, 50 meters, 1 centimeter. Then you can do it is very big scale that time. Okay, first I talked about maps, uh, three types of map. They are physical and political and domestic. Then distance, uh, small scale and large scale. Now we can go to directions. You know the main direction, right? North, south, east, west, right? There are the direction. We need the direction to use the map. Okay. How we can identify the direction in a map? How? That's a question, right? You can with the directions on the map. You can see. Okay, I will show you the direction. This one is the direction. Here. Directions. Okay. The north, south, west, east, and north. Okay, the direction I will show you. In uh, most maps, they are giving north, south, east, west. But there are more directions. Uh, but you cannot identify. This is one letter or two letters. All it is giving. That means N is for north. And S is for South. And E is for East. And W is for West. But you can see NY and SW and SE and NE. What is that one? Right? There are North East. And E is North East. And means North. And E means East. Then Mr. is North East. And SE means S is South. And E is East, then South East. And SW. S is South and W is West. Then South West. And NW. That means N is North and W is West. That means North West. Like that it is. In all directions you can understand. In the map. And look, you can look in the compass. Okay. Then you can identify the directions. Okay, in this map all directions are given. North here. Then we can identify. You should study north. Then uh, where is the west, east, south? It is not given. We should study that. Uh, okay, in I am standing here. Where is south, east? I know. Means west is here and east is here. And north is here and south is here. Okay? That is in I'm standing. Okay? I'm standing like that direction. Okay, I'm going to go to north. I will send north. Okay, here's little north. Then I will go to north and go like this. Then we can identify the directions. Okay? Through the compass. We need compass. Otherwise, we can't identify the uh, directions. Compass is an instrument that we can identify the directions. Mm. I'll show you as a picture here. This is a compass. Okay. Okay. In the map, you can see so much pictures. I'll show you so much pictures as you can see. Okay. In the here, you can see this box, a tree, and like this box, and like this box, and like this box. Okay, it had a name written. In others, sometimes there would be no name. Like, look, this no name. In these all things, there is no name. How we can identify these, those things? Okay, they are symbols. Okay, those uh, pictures are symbols. Okay? Wow. Okay, we can identify those symbols. 
But the map has all the things that you need. They are legend. The legend helps you to recognize the symbols. Okay, here's the legend. These are the symbols and here's the legend of this. Okay, here's river, well, tank, canal, bridge. And this is river, this is well, and this is tank, and this is canal, and this is bridge. Like that you can identify. Uh, you can identify what is this, what is this, what is this. All you can identify with symbols and um, legend or keys. Now, some more things are there in a map. A map is so much facts is have. Okay, you can see all variety colors in the map, right? Variety colors. If you don't see, I will show you. And map with variety colors. Okay, here. This map, Indian map, variety color green here, brown here, and like this. How we can identify those things? Okay, we can identify, uh, for example, this green would be plain, and this uh, cold places, and all we can identify by seeing the color. Okay, That's us. these are sketch. Sketch is a drawing mainly based on memory and spot observation and not to scale. Sometimes a rough drawing is required of an area to tell where the particular place is located with respect to each other. Okay? Now, you are imagining what? Okay. A different color. And, uh, here. There are so much things, peaks and mountain ridge and hills, valley, plain, plateau, desert and delta and sea and island. All we can identify the colors and many others. Plain. What's it? Plan. Plan of the map. A plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale. A large scale map gives a lot information but where are certain things which we many many sometimes may sometimes want to know for examples the length of the length and the breadth of the room which cannot be shown in the map all the time we can refer drawing drawn to the scale called a plan. We can do the plan and we can identify uh, length and breadth. That is the plan. Okay? You know, for so much things are there now, right? In the, uh, in a map. There's so much things in a single map. The original key scale and sometimes it would be other types of plan. It would be um, one of them. It would be direction would be there. And so much other things. Symbols and all in a single map. Okay. First, now I finish. Let me summarize my speech. Okay, first I talk about what is a map. And I told the three types of map. Physical and political and the maps. The map. Okay. Then I talk about distance, then distance, small scale map, and large scale map, and directions, north, east, south, and all. Then symbols, then I told about legend of keys, then sketch, then plan. Okay, thank you for my speech. Thank you.